make you be my forever never go love you my baby yeah. girl i go be all around you i go to love you nobody else suffer from you my baby yeah. into your body.
Most of these boys, they rap like these boys, underground rappers. Or, or some of my kids, you know, I say, you know. Hmm. But you see, the angle this guy was, was touching and everything. <laughs> Even his, his timing and everything. Oh, you say, oh, you're very confident on it. Turn the so mic on. He was jumping the bar. Flash wire. Right maintaining the line. So yes. These are the type of people we are looking for. Uh. Me rapping and my sanitizing. Me nyankati kicking so what pedal biting. Me liye me movement and what paralyzing. Watching me bo foam so nyaku pump with paragliding. Huh. What a mama when nyaka me the foam thing. And so me stone them boys see me with the foam beam. Mami ye bia won pio. Walk it size mo to me elaborate me life in my kum pum feel. What the mo nuku mo mo ofan the koma mo po ne nyu an sade wa bo no no she wan do do na no ye jau ne nu bond them an kesi mka ku on penny size de bo fashi gamo mi chanti ku to me ra pon chop ana be ji mo na gana fu pe de walk me she. Chi de wala na mama do stand do me go ne mo chi de wala na mama blow in the yek on the fan tinti ya dog give the fu ah what let me try what let me try what let wudi ni ye fake intelligence wudi ni akokrabi ni ni minto le mo what let wobo tu mo mo ni chame ko ah what let me try what let me try ah me mama figure the na bantu ma bo fresh what size ni we shoot to check it and I bear comparison me tempted to be better because I'm bigger ah better than you turn it down better than you I'm bigger. Yeah, better than one bigger, one bigger, one Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, in the center of the ring for tonight's all-important 12-round encounter is the man who has had his boxing badges since 1998. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the very experienced Roger Barnor. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here at the sides of the ring to judge this fight and score are Shadrach Akwe, Erasmus O, and Confidence Hyakbe. And now, the officials at the sides of the ring are good to go. The fans here at the Bukum Boxing Arena are good to go. And the audience watching via television and GTV Sports Plus are good to go. The boxers are good to go. A-C-C-R-A, -C -C are you ready? And now, ladies and gentlemen, we go across to the boxer, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 140 pounds and comes in as a former WBO Africa interim champion, once a UBO international champion, and a former Ghana champion. He fights out of the gym here in Accra and has a record of 20 wins and no losses with 17 of the wins coming by way of knockout known as the stopper in the ring put your hands together as we welcome robert the stopper and now ladies and gentlemen doing the battle across the ring it's the boxer who weighed in tonight at 137.3 pounds. He is a former Ghana champion. He is a former WBO Africa lightweight champion. He is a former Africa champion, and he is a former Commonwealth champion, fighting under the tutelage of the one and only Vincent Akainete at the Atokwashi Boxing Gym here in Accra. He comes in with a record of 32 wins, five losses, one draw, with 24 of the wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together as we welcome George the Red Tiger! Ah, and 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, the man in the center of all of the action is Roger Parno. Good evening, guys. In 2023 for the vacant IBF Super Welterweight Championship. Obey my commands, defend yourself at all times. Good luck and shake hands. Is here the two boxes. Round the, one. Instructions, and then they went to their corners. And then the bell is on. The bell round for the first round. So they shake hand and then the fight started. It's, it's already full of fashion from the round one. You see the dashi going. Um, I think Sapa is more reserved trying to use a jab. This is going to be a very good fight. I'm telling you. This is going to be a very good fight. I can't, I can't even predict the outcome from the beginning of the, start, of the fight. Negro, this fight is, the, the starting of the fight shows that this fight is going to be a very good fight. I don't believe that George Ashi will take his time and then control the fight from beginning like this. But once George Ashi read the fight from the beginning and then starting with the jab and then head movement, that, that means this fight is going to be a fight that will bring something to the boxing world. Exactly, and I see when you look at uh, both boxers, they are very technical. Um, you see the way they take their time to even throw their job. It means no point is going, is going to waste. Every point that is being thrown wants to be landed. And their defense, their footwork, and everything is on point. I see um, Asi trying to use the jab and um, Stepper being a little defensive here. Uh, Stepper being a little defensive here. Um, it's taking his time. Both men are taking their time. I think this is going to be a very technical fight. Um, looking at the way it has started, you don't see um, them train going for the um, uh, go, 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 um, going for the mix. They are taking their time. You see Stepper. Uh, stop out throwing, uh, throwing the, 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 the left jab. His left jab is working. That's the right jab from Stopper. He landed it well. He landed it well. Um, Dojashi is taking his time. Dojashi is taking his time. Can he learn something sweet? Can he learn something sweet? Can George Ashi learn something sweet? Can George Ashi learn something sweet? Oh, that's a very good point from Stopper. I think Stopper is having a good time now. He's enjoying himself. And um, Ashi is taking his time. Ashi is taking his time. Ashi is taking his time. I've not seen anything sweet from um, Ashi coming to the end of the round, but um, I believe um, it's all part of it. That was a very good defensive display by uh, Ashi. Very, very good uh, defensive uh, display by Ashi. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Both boxers are being technical. Both boxers are being technical. And it's like Ashi threw a punch uh, that went into straight into the um, gloves of Stopper. I see Stopper trying to come in. I'm another. How do you see the fight? If I go, what I'm seeing from where I'm sitting, uh, I can see George Ashi technically advanced. The way he's taking control of the fight, and then his head movement, and then the way he throw the jab. Even though you are not seeing any serious punches landing, George Ashi is in control of this fight. George Ashi is in control of this fight. Even though Stopper. It's coming with some jabs, but I can see that George Ashi is in control of this fight. And if Tamina is on his side, then he will step on the Robert Queen. Exactly. I mean, that was a... Yeah, 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 yeah. You know... 
But you see, the angle this guy was, was touching and everything. Even his his timing and everything. I don't know if you the wall and I'm blue. And the yak on the front, since you are dog, you're a fool. Ah, well, let me try. Well, let me try. Well, I wouldn't need a fake intelligence. What did you have to cry? Being in your well, I will be to Mumu, and tell me, well, let me say, well, let me say, ah, me, my me, forget the number to my buffra, share, what size new shoe to check it, and I bear your comparison, my tempt to the better because I'm bigger, ah, uh, better than you, turn it down better than you, one bigger, yeah, better than you, pray the me that you the use to kung fu, one bigger. A very good fight. I think they are both throwing good punches. As he's taking his time, same as uh, Stopper. Stopper, Stopper moves back. He moves back a little, trying to land down. That was a good punch. That was a good punch. I think Stopper, Stopper has come in into the second round really well. He's doing well. He's doing well. He's doing well. He's doing well. I think Stopper is taking his time. But Jashi is trying to find space to land something sweet. I think most of his big punches that he's throwing are not being thrown well because it looks like they are, he's not landing any of his big shots. What do you think might be the problem? Yeah, that is what uh, uh, Jashi knows how to do, to land the big punches. But I'm not expecting him to do anything like that today because if he tried that and then he didn't land for some time, the frustration might settle in and then that will cause him to lose the fight but i, be, I, I, I can see how stopper is using, using his reach his longer reach to control the fight and then let Jojashi following him but he is landing and then taking control of the the fight that was a very good shot by ashi stopper did well to prevent that shot i think stopper is using the wing yeah. and the way he's using the wing it tells you he's having a little bit uh, he's having some some problems because you see him moving around, he's not standing toe to toe with Ashi. Ashi wants a fight. Ashi wants, uh, he wants them to um, engage. But it looks like Stopper is not ready for that. He moves around. What do you think? What do you think? Why is Stopper moving around and not uh, being in the middle of the way to, uh, to go for the exchanges? The fact is, uh, Stopper and Jojashi, they know each other. And Jojashi is the banger. He have a powerful shot that if Stopper stop, and then for him to get those jab, uh, those uh, power bombs land, then Stopper will not finish this fight. Georgiashi will stop him. That is what he's avoiding. That is why he's on his paddle and then moving backwards, not to stop for stop uh, for uh, Georgia, for Georgiashi to get and then land those, pow those powerful punches. I think your explanation makes a lot of sense. I mean, if you know a boxer who lands a lot of punches, you will never want to start to um, engage with him because you know definitely when he throws um, a big punch and he lands, he's going to slow you down. And it looks like that's what is happening. It looks like um, Stopper is trying to find space, um, gain um, some energy, but I don't know why he's lost energy already. Uh, do you think, what, 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 what is Zalo Stopper doing? Because you see, it looks like Ashi is making all the rounds and Ashi is enjoying himself. There's like punishment. I'm seeing, I'm seeing punishment right now. What do you say, Madura? Yes, I can tell you that uh, Stopper knows very well that George Ashi is a senior. But the only way he can win this fight is to steal and then move around and then take some punches. But now Greatness. Marlon Bowie Bowie. Turn the mic on. Yeah. Mamana Timana Hurba. Yeah. Mamana Timana Hurba. Yeah. It's B News. Yeah. Girl, I wanna be around you. Make you be my boo. Forever, never go love you. My baby. Girl, I go be all around you. If Stopper have stamina and then control this fight, as the fight is going on, he control the fight up to round six, then 
he might start settling in some, uh, 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 what should I say, <laughs> uh, uh, some misunderstanding in the mind of uh, uh, George Ashi. So you can see that those punches that are the punches that would work for George Ashi. So Stopper should relax and then take control and connect all his jabs and things like that. Oh, that was a beautiful punch. That was a very beautiful punch from Ashi. It's a very beautiful punch from Ashi. What can Ashi do? What can Stopper do? Stopper is finding space. He's finding space to rest. He's finding space to rest. Stopper is clutching. Stopper is clutching. Stopper is in trouble. We have Stopper in trouble. Stopper is in trouble. Stopper is in a big trouble. What is Stopper going to do? Is Stopper going to come in suit? Is Stopper going to have... Is Stopper going to recover? No, this is too much punishment. Too much punishment. This is too much punishment. Is Stopper going to recover? Do you think Stopper can recover from this? This is too much punishment. I think Stopper came in. He came in to fight. He came in to fight the second round. But it's not working. This is not working for Stopper. This is not working for Stopper at all. It's not working for Stopper at all. I think the referee saved Stopper. I can tell you that hey, this fight, Stopper don't have the heart to contain this fight. That is what is happening. But if I am in the corner of Stopper, what I will say is Stopper should relax. He shouldn't fear the bigger punches of Georgiashi. Because if you can see, Georgiashi is throwing wilder punches, and that which is slow. So Stopper, if Stopper take out the fear from his mind and able to stand and touch most of the strong punches, Georgiashi who settled uncomfortably and then he started committing mistakes and then that, that is where Stopper will get his jobs to land and then he will win the fight. And I don't know, I think you have said it all. What the kind of game plan Stopper brought him into the third round is a bad game plan. It's not working for him. It's not working for him at all. He should be using a jab rather instead of going for the exchanges. And you can see, Ashi has gained some momentum. Ashi is enjoying himself. Ashi is coming in. Ashi looks like he really wants to punish him. And you see, sometimes when you go, when you start a promotion, and we have one boss talking too much, and it's time, and it's time, and you get your chance, you like to punish him. And I think that's exactly what Stopper uh, Ashi is trying to do. It's just trying to punish Stopper. And it's not good for his power promotion. It's not good for uh, Stopper fans. It's not good for uh, some of my friends that are supporting um, Stopper. I think Stopper must do something. Yeah. Stopper needs to come in yeah, strong. Stopper needs to come into the fight. Exactly. Stopper because himself with fears. Because Stop Stopper is being punished. Oh, that was a good job. That was a very good job. That was a very good job. Oh, 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 o
that is what will cause Stopper to lose this fight. But if Stopper have stamina, maybe he might come back and then with the help from the corner, and then hey, if he's using the jab like that, he'll be able to, to fight. Stopper, Stopper, as we speak now, has problem with his left eye. He has problem with his left eye. Do you think with his left eye being swollen, he can be able to concentrate on the fight? Because I, I, I don't see, I don't think he can adjust and come in better. Yeah, the thing is, the punches that swell uh, his eye doesn't look like one punch. So those punches that are landing over there, if he allow those punches to land there for several times, then the referee, it might be a technical knockout. The referee might stop the fight because of his eyes. Yeah, you're 100% right. I think that she is coming in. He's trying to use the jab. It looks like uh, Stopper is composed now. He's trying to throw some good punches. That was a very good um, punch to the body by Stopper. Stopper is coming in strong. But he's still moving. And I, I still feel some fear in him. It looks like he's too scared. He's running away. A lot of punishment. And you see, when you hear awesome, it shows that one person is being punished. And that's what you are seeing now. So when you hear also, the the fans, he tells you, the young people are telling you that one person is in trouble, one person is taking punishment. And I think um, Stopper's eyes is, is still swelling, it's still swelling, which doesn't look good for him. I mean, what he's doing now, with the kind of the way, with the way he's fighting, going for the exchange, I don't think he can survive. I think he needs to take his time and use a jab. What do you think? That is it. When uh, 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 Judge Roshim, he felt like, Sometimes he should stand an exchange blow with him. That is what will keep a knockout against a stopper. So stopper, what stopper is supposed to be doing now is to just hold on and then uh, uh, try to dodge all the sub punches and then use his jab and the jab should connect like the way he's doing it. Yeah, that can help him. Apart from that, if he chooses to run and then fear the bigger punches from George, then the bigger punch will rather land. I think as uh, Stopper was able to throw a very big punch. What Ashley is doing in a way is also good. You see, he's putting his weight on Stopper. He's putting his weight on Stopper. And we've seen this happen a lot of times. The recent battle between uh, Tyson Fury and Wilder. We saw at a point he was using his weight on Wilder. This, this, this bout that is happening, it looks like Stopper can come in. But Stopper has been able to throw some uh, two punches, which I think he landed so well. That was a very good job by Ashi. Ashi threw a very good job. Ashi is still working towards um, Stopper, man to man. He's ready to do anything. He's ready to do anything. He's ready to do anything. He's ready to punish him. And I think his eyes is still swelling. That's no good for uh, Stopper. Yes, it's the jabs. That right jab, uh, the left jab that uh, Ashi is throwing, that is what is landing on that eye. So if uh, uh, this guy don't find antidote to that jab, and that jab are landing still, it will be a problem for a uh, stopper. So stopper have to control the jab and stop using that shoulder roll. The shoulder roll that stopper is trying to use is not helping him. I mean, you are 100% right. The shoulder roll is not helping him. A lot of things are not working for stopper. I think stopper needs to take his time, try to use the jab. Try to use a jab. And you see, with the, with the way Ashi is fighting, if you want to beat Ashi with the jabs, your jabs must be fast. You must throw quick jabs. It looks like his jabs, his punches, everything it is, is not fast. It comes in very slow. Yes. Uh, through that, you can realize that uh, Stopper Corner, they are doing very well. Because in the third round, as Stopper came in, in the second round, Stopper was on his bicycle. But in the third round, he came in, tried to stand in a way, and then do what the corner is asking him to do. But still, when the judge rush him with the power punches, he put that fear within himself, and Second he to back again. But the other hand is, judge is not throwing better punches, Second and out. judge is delaying with his Round. punches, and he's not throwing Five. good punches. So if Stopper is able to read that thing, and then stand in front of judge, judge will not be able to connect all his punches, and then Stopper will be able to score good punches. Exactly. I think as we speak, as we talk about uh, Stopper, we need to talk about Jodashi as well. Jodashi is throwing big, big shots, but he's not running them. And I think it's because he's not taking his time, he's not um, putting his target right. That's the reason why he's not landing. And if he wants to control like this and Stopper comes into the fight, things are going to change. This round looks good for Stopper. Stopper, Stopper has thrown some good punches. I think he needs to be running like this. The fight is still swelling. And you see, like you spoke about, like you said earlier on, the jabs that is going in, it's going to shoot into the left eye. And it's destroying the left eye. So that's a problem that I think Stopper must work on. He still must work on. He needs to keep his left hand up. 
he needs to keep his left hand up. He needs to, as, as you stand now, he's fighting with one eye. Yes, that is it. It's because he's trying, displaying the shoulder roll. That shoulder roll is not helping him. So any time he tried to use the shoulder roll, he, 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 he turned the eye to the jab of George. So the job, the jab is landing right on the eye. You see, that is it. But Stopper, I believe, if he's able to use his footwork well and then be able to take himself out of the corner, then he will give George problem. But the way he's doing, running into the corner, I don't know which foot to use and then get out of the corner. That is why where George is getting the upper half of a stopper. So stopper number one supposed to stop that shoulder roll. That shoulder roll is not helping him. That thing will cause the referee to stop the fight prematurely because it will be a technical knockout against stopper because of his eye. I think you are 100% you are right. The shoulder roll is not working for stopper. I think he needs to keep his um, left hand up to protect the eye because you have your eye going off and you need to protect it. That was a very good shot to the main section of stopper. That was a very good stop. Stopper. It's just because stopper is trying to use shoulder roll, which he don't know how to use. That is why he's facing that problem. And that will be one of the key that will cause the technical knockout for this bout. I'm not really 100% right. That was a very good point. That's a very good point. That's a very good point for stopper. It's a very good point for stopper. I like this from Stopper. I like this from Stopper. Now Stopper needs to take his time and adjust and come into the fight. He doesn't need to throw a bit much again. He needs to take his time. He needs to take his time. He needs to take his time. That was a very good point by Stopper. That was a very good stop point by Stopper. I see, you see, Stopper can come into this fight. If he can keep his left hand up to protect his, um, his rolling eye, and he can, work on, um, he can work with a jab, I mean, he's going to do something good and he's going to help him. I told you this, I told you this, that uh, if Stopper is able to control himself, he can win this fight because George is not throwing better punches. You go be my boo. I swear you be only you, my baby. Yeah. Into your bar, a bar, yeah. Oh, yeah, my daddy, 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 and even on the ground, we be too flat to fly. Girl, you know that I got you. Then one separate yeah. us about. Second kind of knockout. Yeah. But it was a very good round for him. Oh, yeah, it's a very good round for him. Uh, the one thing I can say is that uh, George Ashi is very lucky that the referee did not call that stagger as a knockdown. Some referee can call that stagger as a knockdown because he struggled with so much, even to the point of uh, 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 hanging on the rope for him to be able to control himself, not to touch the ground. And so for that one, some, this thing I call it, some referee can call it knockdown. But he's very, he's very lucky for that. But still, uh, what, the punches that George is throwing, is, uh, 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 Robert Quay is able to read the punches very well. He will be able to get George and then give him some punches off guard and then that can stagger him like he did before. I think one other thing that you spoke about that I think is making a good change in this fight is the fact that uh, Melia or Stepa was fighting with fear. But it looks like Rana has gained some confidence and he's not fighting with fear. But you see, when you gain confidence against a boxer like Jodashi, you need to be careful. Because it looks like he's not, um, he's not protecting himself anymore. And Jodashi may throw a bigger punch that will send him down. That's all it. That's what I was expecting. That was a very good punch. That is it. It's a very good punch. So, those are the, the, the punches that are putting fear in uh, 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 Stopper. So if Stopper is able to control those things and then manage the white punches of George Ashi, then he'll be able to control the fight. 
I mean, that was a very good point from the Dashi to the main session of uh, Stopper. Stopper is taking his time. I like the confidence of Stopper now. It looks like he's confident now. It looks like his eyes is getting better. But he's taking too much for chasing to his main session. I mean, you see, it looks like actually he's changing his game plan. He keeps changing. Before he was using the jabs, right now he's working on the main session. So I think um, Stopper must come in with something new. He needs to be moving. Stopper needs to be moving because for you to land into the main session, you need to be closer with the boxer. And that is um, all, most, most of the punches in this one is all going into the main session of Stopper. Yes. The thing is, the fear, still the fear is in stopper. Stopper, the, the fear invaded stopper. That is why things are going on like that. But that punch that he, he threw and then he staggered Joy, that is what gave uh, uh, George some kind of respect for stopper. Because you could see that he reached a point, George is not respecting, respecting stopper at all. Those are the points that stopper should uh, uh, capitalize on and then move in and then fight with George. But that one punch, that staggered George, Give Stopper some kind of courage, but still he's afraid of the big punches that uh, uh, George is throwing. That is why he's not able to fight with George, stand and then toe to toe and then fight with George. And that the way he's doing, still give George the upper hand. You're 100% right. You're 100% right. But I like the way Stopper has been able to redevelop his confidence into the fight. He came in very confident. He took his and punch. And now the confidence went away. But in this one, he has shown some good shots to the head of Jojashi. It looks like he's still standing up. Greatness. Mile and bow with bow Turn the mic song. Yeah. 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 Right. So far, the first half wow. of the fight, Jojashi is leading in my point of view. In the first half of the fight, Jojashi is leading in point of my view. So we are now we are getting into the uh, uh, the competition stage of the fight. So we will see what antidote a stopper have to overtake Jojashi from the leading that he's leading and then be able to finish the fight and win. Uh, I think one of the things that um, Stopper has been able to work on well to win this fight is the fact that he has been able to gain his confidence. When he's going to to go with um, Dodashi, he's not scared, he's not running away. And I like this. This is boxing. This is pound for pound. This is what we enjoy. This is what the fans want to see. The fans want to be able to say, oh yes sir, oh yes sir, which means one person is under punishment. So I think we are having a good night. It's good. I mean, it's good uh, sitting here giving live commentary on these uh, spectacular boxes. Good for yes. In fact, the fight is getting to the stage that we should be, uh, we should be applauding the two boxes. Jojashi is doing well with the way he's watching the punches of uh, 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 Stopper. Jojashi punches. The, 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 the stopper punches are in a good direction. Stopper punches are in a good direction. But Jojashi is taking control to dodge them. Jojashi punches are not in a good direction. That is why Stopper is missing those punches. If Jojashi manage and then throw correct punches, he will disturb Stopper. I think um, Stopper's corner has been able to do well. They have done so much uh, for um inside you know he had, he had a very bad eye but um he looks good now i think you can see with both eyes and it's good i mean we have to um we have to recommend his team for making sure that good punch that's a very good punch that's an instant that's pass for power this is pass for power this is boxing that was a very good one by Stopper. But Stopper's leg, Stopper's leg looks like he's gone. Yes, he has problems with his leg. He will clinch, he will clinch, he will clinch to gain some energy. You see, Jojashi is not a very good puncher. His punches are not connecting well. He could have stopped Stopper at that moment that he staggered Stopper. But his punches were not able to lie, even though 
stopper stagger, but still George Ashi's punches were not able to land. That is why George Ashi is still on his feet, throwing his, uh, his, his hands down. George Ashi is coming. Yeah, I think that, that was a very good shot. That was a very good shot from both men. But it looks like, it looks like, it looks like there's a point deduction. There's a point deduction. That blow was below the belt. There's a point deduction. There's a point deduction. That blow was below the belt. That blow was below the belt. I think uh, Mashi must be careful with those, with those low punches. There are so many of them. Those, those very good for Ashi. That's very good punch. Good punch for Ashi. That's a very good response for Mustafa. Very good response for Mustafa. What can Mustafa do now? Good punch. Good. Good. Both men will clinch. Both men will clinch. Both men will clinch. I think Ashi, Ashi, Ashi is also having a bad eye. He has blood coming from his left arm, uh, his right eye. Yeah. That is it. But easy, 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 easy. He threw a punch and then he missed. What size comparison? to the because some bigger, better than you. Turn it down, better than you. One bigger, yeah, better than you. Better than you, yeah. Turn it down, better than you. Rappers say we're good reaction, what you been pet? Munuku men be, I'm, I'm in, in a, a few. few. I'm better, bigger, better than you. Bad, bad. Joe, turn it down, better than you. Yeah. One better, sure. better than you. Better than that chick that you see cool. Ashi Kano, you know, you look at you, don't look. Hey, it's a very good fight, 50-55. Run it, here we go, I'm going to do that. Yeah, it's a 50-55. It looks like uh, George Ashi is being deducted the point. But still, to my look of things, he won. The, the, there's a seventh round. So if this fight is continuing like this, George Ashi might end up winning the fight by maybe unanimous a, a split decision or majority decision. I think at this point, a knockout will play a major role for Stopper. If Stopper is able to knock Shopper, uh, is, is able to knock Ashi out, uh, or is able, able to uh, gain a knockout, it's going to really help him. With a point, because as, you, as it stands like, it looks like Ashi is way ahead of him in points. And I like the fact that he's getting some confidence. That's a very good shot by Ashi. That's a very good shot by Stopper. Stopper is coming into the game so strong. Very good shot by Ashi. Ashi can feel. Ashi can feel. Oh, so. I need to shout to a son because I'm enjoying myself. I need to shout to a son because the friends are shouting a son. I need to shout to a son because this is a very good fight. This is a very, very good fight. Both men are throwing big, big shots. George, George is. George is connecting better punches than Stopper. It's because Stopper don't believe in himself. Because George is dodging Stopper's good punches. But Stopper is not able to dodge George bad punches. That is what is causing Stopper to go, yo, lockdown. It's what? a lockdown. It's a lockdown. Stopper go down. Stopper is down from the punch from George Ashi. Stopper is down at the corner. In his own corner, Stopper is down by a short punch from George Ashi. Stopper is down. And then, he, they corner him again. The fight is going on. The punches are going on. Yes, that's right. George Ashi is ready to stop Stopper. He is fighting Stopper, trying to stop Stopper. Yes, the fight is going on. George Ashi, George Ashi is trying to stop Stopper. Hey, it's a knockout. One. The fight. Two. The referee stopped the fight. The referee stopped the fight. George Ashi won by round nine stoppage. George Ashi won this fight by round by round eight stoppage. George Ashi won this fight by round eight stoppage. This fight is being won by George Ashi by round eight stoppage. George Ashi come with power punches. Oh, he uh, stop her down, and then after that he. He runs Stopper with a lot of power punches. He stops Stopper. Stopper have nothing to do. He cannot defend himself. 
ladies and gentlemen of Cabos TV, Jodashi won this fight by stopping stopper. I saw it coming and I said that hey, the way Jod uh, stopper is not facing Jodashi square to catch his punches is to be a problem for Jodashi. So, what do you see? see um, at a point, stopper came into the fight uh, run, uh, with a wrong um, approach. You see, you know, a boxer who will show you how the power approach is toe to toe. Because you know you can't take those punishment. And if you know you can't take those punishment, what you need to do is that you need to fight from the distance. Better than that, you know, you see cool food, one bigger. Turn it down better than you. Rappers will go yassin. Oh yeah, big bad. You know who men be. I'm a inner if you. I'm better. Better than you. Bad bad. Joe, turn it down better than you. I'm better. Better than you. Better than that. You know you should cool fool. I'm better. Better than you. I'm better than Joe. I'm better than you. Rappers will go yassin. Oh yeah, big bad. You know who men be. I'm a inner if you. Fully that could look who sounded why you're sick. No rapper who would have a very big share. Rapper teaching a rapper gun with that will have a good one. But for you, I'm a mean a straight star. Rapper say you've been, I mean a good team. All the good rappers, so she knew who fee. Rapper in the circle, that's a fuck I need to be. That I have to do the Mukuma or who fee. She miss a medal and the one lash able to. But this PDT that my friend, thank you, Rapper. But I think the rap is not what to work with. I don't put in the rap. I told you, DT, why you're ready to make a book. I'm not going to go down. 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 I'm better than you. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like you to take your seats as we get ourselves ready for the announcement of the result. Thank you. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we ask for calm as we get ourselves ready for the announcement of the result. Thank you very much. And of course, only designated persons are allowed around the ringside area. Please do note that only designated persons are allowed around the ringside area. Thank you very much. Greatness. And if you're on the ground, we be too flat, too flat. Well, you know that I got you. Then one separate us, so bad, so we need to be far. My woman needs it, but don't kita kita. I see how every corner be sicka sicka. That be why you my boo. So now they gonna know. Say the love we I get for you be high, no be low. Yeah. 
Five years on the road. Your ego they go. So give me the thing I they want. The thing where they make me munuku. They still love you more. I'm gonna show you to the world and tell everyone how I love you. He will be aided by the Youth and Sports Minister and the Mayor of Accra. Thank you very much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we all do agree that this has been massive entertainment. Please do a big round of applause for the two boxers. And now, ladies and gentlemen, my pleasure to announce the new IBF Continental Africa Super Lightweight Champion, whose opponent abandoned the fight in the eighth round. Put your hands together for the man, George the Red Tiger! Can we also have a representative of Samoko Ghana Limited come over for this presentation? Thank you. the winner of this fight from Coach Breaker in the United States of America. And now, ladies and gentlemen, just before we wrap all of this up and say goodbye to His Excellency the President, the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, I respectfully ask that we all stand once again for the National Anthem of Ghana. Grateful to your Vice President, Your Excellency, for gracing the occasion tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for His Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, Dr. Mahmoudou Baumia. Thank you so much, sir, for gracing the occasion.
Tell me come here, well let me say, uh, well let me say, ah. Uh. Me and me figure they na bantu ma bo fresh. Yeah. What size thing we shoot to check it? And I bet your comparison make them to the better because I'm bigger, ah, uh, better than you. Turn it down, better than you. I'm bigger, yeah, better than you. Pray them make that they use kung fu. I'm bigger, ah, uh, better than you, yeah. Turn it down, better than you. Rappers say we're good, we are sin. Why you been pet? No no cool man be. I'm in inner a few. I'm better, bigger, better than you. Bad bad. Yo, turn it down, better than you. I'm better, better than you. Pray them make that shit they use kung fu. I'm better, ah, better than you. I'm better than you. Yo, I'm better than you. Rappers say we're good, we are sin. Why you been pet? No no cool man be. I'm in inner a few. Share, flow in the cold, but we stand up sick. Me rap with Bobo Hunde, Makaveli pick. Yeah, rapper teaching a rapper band. What that girl a move out one? Rap for you, I'm in my street. Yeah, rapper say he been. I'm in a Bobo chill. All the way go all the rappers. So if you know who fin, rapper in the circle, that's a fuck I need to win. That I have code the monukuma. Oh, I'm fin fin. Me yeni pose, we yeni nala guma sin. Go to. She miss and me deliver. No wala she ebo to. Per the speed it's that man for thank you by her boom. Cause me take the fit rappers now what to wego. Mad off with me rapper. When you watch it there, I pay to beat you. Why you ready? Me love on care. I'm a cool fool, not too hard, not too bad, not strong, so I'm gonna die. I'm bigger, better than you. I'm better than you. Turn it down, better than you. I'm better, better than you. Pray them that you they use to fool. I'm better, better than you. I'm better than you. I'm better than you. Rappers say we're good, we are sin. They ain't been bad. No one can make me. I'm in a few. I'm better, yeah, better than you. My long bowie bowie, it's just a freestyle. Turn the mics on. Greatness. Marlon Bowie Bowie. Turn the mics on. Yeah. 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 Nobody else apart from you, my baby. Yeah. Into your bar, yeah. We are my dear Timio, my dear Timio. Into me, yeah. Oh, baby. We are my dear Timio, my dear Timio. Into ya, ya me boko boko, my baby. Boko boko. Boko boko my baby, boko boko hey. Yeah, you me boko boko my baby, yeah. Yeah. Say ma me na, say me na herba. Say ma me na, say me na sorba. Say ma me na, say me na herba. Say ma me na, say me na. Girl, baby, only you. Where you go be my boo? I swear, say be only you, my baby. Say you be only you. You go be my boo. I swear you be only you, my baby. Yeah. Into your bar, a bar, yeah. We are my dear Timio, my dear Timio, my dear Timio. Me to me be, yeah. Oh baby, we are my dear Timio, my dear Timio. Mama sita andere andere mama e a e a. I swear say I go love you until we die we die. And even on the ground we be too fly too fly. Girl you know that I got you. They won't separate us or pass you and nipa nipa. Makuma ni eje odo kita kita. I say what pay me kwa pay me sika sika. That be why you be my boo. So now they gonna know. Say the love we a get for you be high no be low. Yeah, five years on the road. We never go stop. We jolly go they go. So give me the thing I they want. The thing where they make me munuku. Me still love you more. I'm gonna show you to the world and tell everyone how I love you. Into your bar, a bar, yeah. We are the best in the world. Me boko boko my baby, boko boko hey ah. Yeah, me boko boko my baby, boko boko hey ah. Say mama na, say mama herba, say mama na, say mama sorba, say 
And this night here at the Bukum Boxing Arena and the next event will be a six round bantamweight contest between Daniel Gosh and Jonathan Papo. In the meantime, we're told that Papo Alote has placed a challenge to the man George Ashi. We'll be talking about all of that later on. But ladies and gentlemen, please do remember that tonight is proudly sponsored by Samoko Ghana Limited, who are the sole distributors of boxer motorcycles here in Ghana. Well, ladies and gentlemen, some more action coming up here in the Bukum Boxing Arena, and we go straight to the next six-round bantamweight contest between Daniel Gosh and Jonathan Papo. We now welcome the two boxers into the ring. Greatness. Greatness. Marlon Bowie, Bowie. Turn the mics on. Yeah. 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 Nobody else apart from you, my baby. Yeah. Into your body, yeah. We are my dear Timio, my dear Timio. Into me, yeah. Oh, baby. We are my dear Timio, my dear Timio. Into your body, yeah. 
boko boko my baby boko boko It's an ABU lightweight championship over 12 rounds. The boxers involved are Taki Anan and Otto Joseph. Taki Anan from Ghana and Otto Joseph from Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome the two boxers into the ring. And now, ladies and gentlemen, officials for this bout, Clemens Ashong from Ghana, Adesanya Olugushen from Nigeria, and Ata Eddie Papo from Ghana. In the center of the ring will be the man, Michael Nikwe. Supervising this bout is Patrick Johnson. I would like to also invite into the ring the representative of the ABU. Now, ladies and gentlemen, from Lagos, Nigeria, he weighs in at 150 pounds with a record of 18 wins, one loss, and nine of the wins coming by way of knockout. 
Put your hands together as we welcome Otto Joseph. Fighting across the ring, ladies and gentlemen. He comes in with a weight of 134.5 pounds and with a record of 13 wins, 7 losses, and 12 of the 13 wins coming by way of knockout. Put your hands together for Taki Anand. And now in the center of all of the action, ladies and gentlemen, is the man Michael Nikwe. several times, whatever I say must be such a Round one. Nigerian and then which off guarded him but still the Nigerian is taking control then there's a straight jab to the to the body yes of the Ghanaian yeah yes a very stiff jab that landed in the face of the Ghanaian and then he came with a body hook the Ghanaian came with the hook. That goes into the body. Now, ah, there's a straight, a straight right on the side of the head to the Ghanaian boxer. Yeah, the Nigerian is in the full control of the fight, taking his time and then throwing the nice jabs. The two guys believe themselves and then they're sizing each other very well. And the Rhodesian came with a jab and then follow with a punch, but both mix. Yes, you can see from the Nigerian that he's so serious with what he's doing and then believing that he is in the control of the fight. Yeah, you can see it from look of things. He come with a jab and then, yeah, some uppercut from the Nigerian. Ah, the hoof from the Ghanaian didn't land. And then another one land. And then he came with a fire, chasing the Nigerian all over. It's a cagey fight. Yes, the Ghanaian came with a jab. And the Nigerian flying some, yeah. A knock on the face of the Ghanaian, drop him down. So the referee started counting for the Ghanaian. 
The Ghanaian visited the canvas and then the referee is counting for him in the first round. This is the first round and then he recover and then the referee say let the fight continue and then another strong punch from the Nigeria again landed and then the Ghanaian don't have an attitude that day. He, he, he visited the canvas again, his gloves touch canvas and then the, the referee started counting again. So the two knocked down against the Ghanaian in the first round. <laughs> yeah, the Ghanaian is so perplexed. He don't know what he's doing. And the Nigerian is coming. It's the 10 seconds time for them to stop, for them to finish the first round. Yeah. Yes. Turn the mic on. He was jumping the bar. Flash wire. Yes. So these are the type of people we are looking for. Uh. Me rapping and my sanitizing. Me nyanka ti kicking so what pedal biting. Me liye me movement and what paralyzing. What you me bo fum so nyanka kupon we power gliding. Huh. What a mama would nyanka me de fum itin. And so me stone them boys see me with the fum beam. Mami ye bia won pio. What criticizing me to me labrit. The second round started, and then the two boxers walk into the center of the ring and then the nigerian came in with a full confidence because he have two knocks that he come with a job a very stiff job that landed in the face of the ghanian boxer but he still is coming with a job which is landing the nigerian boxer is in control the ghanian threw a very strong right which miss yes yeah you can see how the Nigerian boxer is having a confidence because he got a two knockdown in the first round. The Ghanaian boxer lose confidence in the fight. I even do. He lose confidence. He's still throwing his hand and then landing some good punches. They're sizing each other. The Nigerian is with full confidence. And then fainting the Ghanaian boxer. But still the Ghanaian boxer is also standing on his feet and then making amends. Yeah, he threw a very good overhand which did not land well. But still the Nigerian guy is in control. And then coming with his, uh, his, his hands on his guard. All right. Coming with a jab and then the uppercut we did not land, and then <laughs> oh, the Ghanaian boxer lose guard. Looking up to referee to intervene. Meanwhile, the referee did not intervene, and then he lose guard, waiting, and then the Nigerian boxer ran on him with a lot of punches, but still he's standing and then controlling, back pedaling, but still. Oh, the Nigerian boxer came with four combination, cut, and then it's punch. Yes, upper card, we did not land well. And then, correct, that's a very strong punch, the strong right. Land about two times, but still the Ghanaian boxer is still standing. The Nigerian boxer is in control. Nigerian boxer is in control. Yes, he's having full confidence over the Ghanaian boxer. He threw a straight job. Yes, some hooks from the Ghanaian boxer landed well. But still, the Nigerian guy is still coming. Still coming forward through his hand, which are not connecting well. There's a straight right from Nigerian land on the head of the Ghanaian boxer. Yes, he landed again. Then he came with the left. Right, but the Ghanaian boxer reply with yes, punches. Yeah, the boxer is landing some combinations. 
But the Ghanaian boxer is not giving up. There's a clinch that the referee intervened. Yes, another hook with combination from the Nigerian, but the Ghanaian reply with another hook. Yes. Yo, the Ghanaian is controlling the fight with some jabs. Some left jab coming in. But still the Nigerian. Come on. There's a, there's a hook. The right hook landed well. The Ghanaian guy. The, the time in each other. Yeah. There's a clinch. The ten indication. Right combination. Whoa. Whoa.
Come on. What the street left, the street right on the head of a Ghanaian boxer. They still both have confidence. Both guys are having the confidence to continue the fight. They are sizing each other. They are sizing each other. <laughs> both of them have respect for each other. But the Ghanaian guy went with a, a job which landed well. Come on. There's a straight punch. The straight right from the Nigerian boxer that landed. Yes, the jab is coming in, but some combination from the opposite side. Yes, the Ghanaian guy is throwing some wild punches. The Nigerian guy is showboating and then turning his back. <laughs> There's some powerful punches, left and right punches from the Nigerian. But the Ghanaian guy is not giving in. He's also coming forward with some jabs. This is a very good fight. It's like the two boxers are fighting the same style. And then they don't know. <laughs> they are taking control of the fight. But I'm believing the Nigerian is winning the rounds. Yes. A straight job landed for the nigerian <laughs> yeah yeah there's an uppercut landed for the nigerian but the Ghanaian guy is not giving in they're sizing each other yes the nigerian guy is coming with a jab come with a jab and then a hook a jab and straight punch and then another jab again which landed well the nigerian guy is connecting well See. Yes, the Nigerian guard is having the confidence in himself. <laughs> Both boxers are tired, but still they believe in themselves. They need to can make it the end of the fourth round. Found. Five. The fifth round started. The Nigerian is coming in, and then the jab from the Ghanaian landed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Boxes are sizing each other. A jumping hook, a jumping left hook from the Nigeria did not land, and he tried the right, which also did not pay well. The both are still in the middle of the ring. That's right. There's a strong power from from the right hand of the Ghanaian landed well. In the head of the Nigerian boxer. Yeah, this fight is going to the distance because the one who is receiving a lot of punches is not ready to give up, which is the Ghanaian guy, even though he's losing the rounds, but he's fighting. So this fight will go to the wire. I think it's giving. Uh, He's giving the Nigerian guy a very good fight. Serious, serious fight. He's giving the Nigerian guy a very serious fight. 
a good uh, fight. When, when you look at the record, I believe Otu Joseph. Okay. I look at the exchange from Pesci. It looks like the chicken even win this fight. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yes, he's coming from behind. And then he's doing some body workout, which is landing well. Is a very good yeah. so for Tetri to give him, yeah. we have the men, even good fight. The Ghanaian I mean, guys giving this fight, giving the Nigerian a good round for his money. That's right, give and take combination. There has been a lot of confusion going on, especially the youth. The right of what happened in the ring is <laughs> the fight got the right end at the right time. Anything from behind is at the blind side of the referee. The referee did not see. And it did not intervene in the fight. So I don't know why people are trying to use it as a yardstick to measure this fight. Uh, because you see, um, now that's a very good point from Tochi. Tochi is fighting. Tochi is seeing for a bank. Yeah, to, you see the way to Joseph is looking at. Those things happen at the blind side of the referee. And then, before the one who entered the ring should get closer to where the action is going on, the referee has already stopped the fight because one person cannot continue the fight. So, it's a very good decision. Now, the end of the fight. Yeah, I think uh, your explanation also makes a lot of sense. But to wait to see what uh, baseball boss will do, uh, to see what the outcome will be, what is because something from this, we need to learn something from this. And I, I, I don't know, but I feel there should be some kind of uh, sanction to the person that got into the ring. I think that will be fair. I don't know what boss uh, boss Rick would say. So we we'll wait to see. That was a very good job from Otu Joseph. Oh, and is the last corner actually happened in the corner of uh, stopper, and then every stopper was cornered in his own corner with a lot of punches, and then he fell down, and then the referee counted, he beat the count, and then got up, and then the referee restarted the fight again, but made a mistake, could have done corner and come to of the ring like he did that before the corner uh, uh, what george ashes corner entered the ring then that might be the point where the referee will be able to see him coming into the ring and then stop the action and then get the person out of the ring before uh, 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 the fight continue but stopper made a mistake that he didn't come out of that corner 
after he beat the count. And then he was still in the corner, and then they restarted the actions again. So he was in his corner. A lot of uh, 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 punches are, were releasing him. So he had to up down to try to trade a blow with uh, uh, George Ashi. Still, George Ashi was, his, was in his feet, and then we full of win a lot of punches. That caused the referee to stop the fight finally. So the referee did not see what was happening behind him. So I don't think a box rec or whoever will use that to uh, 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 judge this fight. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. I've been doing that. I mean, you have said it all. You have said it all. You have said it all. Um, it's, 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 it's a good decision by the referee. I mean, uh, Sopo was in trouble. He gave him uh, another chance to come up, and he was taking a lot of punches. He wasn't throwing anything back. So, the you know, referee stopped the fight. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a way for it. Uh, to Joseph, or to Joseph. In terms of this promotion, from the referees, from um, the security as well. You know, the security did so well um, in protecting the vice president. So, although there was a little uh, misunderstanding, everything was calm, and uh, we have the co cool main event happening now. Okay, Otto Joseph is coming in, uh, trying to use the job. Otto is using the job, he's trying to use the job. I think you have some of Ghanaians even supporting Otto Joseph. Yeah, some Ghanaians are supporting him. They know he can do well, but to the shock of most of them, uh, the Techi guy is still standing on his feet. Yes. Standing on his feet, coming, even to. <laughs> wow. That's a very good point. Yeah, wow. Techi is a very strong guy. Upon the barrage of. Punches flying on his uh, his head. He's still coming and then throwing his hand. He's a very strong guy. Yes, yes. I love. If 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 Otigoshev doesn't take well, this fight can go anywhere. It can go either direction because you see, Pichi is coming in strong. Yes. Those big, big punches. Yes. Yes, I can see it. Techi is doing very well, especially with his body punches. I don't know why Techi went down. He didn't go down, but he kneeled down. That means it's a knockdown. So the referee is counting it for him. And then... <laughs> the fight is still going on. But Techi got knocked down. So he beat the counting and still ready to continue. So the referee is there with him, taking control of some minor things. Yeah. Hello. I don't know. Techi. I he fights the way he's fighting shows that yeah he mean to fight yes wow barrage of punches on the head of techi but he's like, still standing it looks like to joseph has had enough of techi and he wants to knock him out now he wants to end the fight in this particular round. This has been a very good um, co-main event. Yeah. I think it's one of the exciting fights we've seen. 
uh, looking at the chief taking all those punishments and still standing to to do with um, Otto Joseph. That was a very good point by Otto Joseph. Good exchange. Good exchange. Good point by uh, Tuchi. Tuchi is trying to land a good shot. And I believe that good shot, if it goes through, is going to uh, make the fight easier for him. That was a good point. Good point. Good point. Otto Joseph. Uh, Otto Joseph is really doing well. But it looks like Otto himself is too tight. Ref, yeah, the referee would not rule this as a knockdown. Exactly. But he's trying to use his weight on Tuchi. Exactly. Otu, Otu yeah. looks too tight. Yeah. And I mean, with the caliber, the caliber of a fighter like yeah. Otu Joseph, I don't understand why he's too tight. And yeah. it's not. Seconds out. Round nine. Go inside and show something. One. And I mean, if you are fighting a top boss, you have your. I think this this will be a good round. It's a good shot, shot to the body, shot to the body. You can hear the fans telling Techi to move, Techi, Techi to move, Techi to do something, Techi to do something before it's too late. Because it looks like as we speak now, uh, Otto Joseph is um, is getting tired. That was a good punch of Techi, but point to the body. I think he needs to work on the head. Most of the punches he's showing is going to the body, and I don't think he's landing anything clear. It's true. The body punches are like to land, but it's not landing to give Otu any problem. So that is where uh, Techi is losing it. Uh, like he's able to connect those punches at the upper side of Joseph's uh, 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 Otu's body. Then I believe he might be giving Otu a lot of problem by now. That, that is very, very true. Uh, now you look at uh, Otu, Otu comes in. That was a very good punch. I think Otu hand the fight here. That's a very, no, that's a very good comeback from Techi. Good comeback from Techi. From the nose, blade from every. And yeah, it looks like some momentum. And no, your point didn't do anything. I didn't feel the, I didn't feel the power. It tells him to come more. She is bleeding. I mean, if you use it as a technical knockout for him, I don't think it's a bad decision at all. Yeah. Because as it starts now, he's just taking too much punishment. A lot of punches are landing on his head. Exactly. So, and he's not able to dodge well. So, exactly. And, uh, exactly. The referee is in the ring to, to protect the boxer. So I feel if Tati is not showing anything, we'll end the fight. It looks like we'll be ending the fight very soon. It looks like the referee will be ending the fight very soon. Techi is not showing anything. He's just taking punishment. That's two, con two points combination to the head. Another one, Techi misses. That's another point to the head. I think Otto Joseph is enjoying himself now. He's having a good time. And when you see Bosses having a good time like this, it tells you it's well trained. 
he knew when he gets to the championship rounds, he would, he would be doing this. So, everything is working so well for uh, Moto Joseph. I think the referee needs to stop the fight. He the needs to stop, it. to stop this fight. Exactly. Because the way the fight is going, the referee needs to stop this fight. Exactly. Because the team had a receiving end, and a lot of potty are on his head. The referee needs to stop this fight. And that was a very the good call by the referee. What the Muluku more often the Koma who put in one side, the Wabu, no, no, she want to do none of your jaw, no, no, bond them and kiss him, Kaku, on penny size, the buffer, she got more me chant, she cook to Mira, but your banner, Betty Mona Ganafu, Pedder Wakamashe, Chida Walla Nama Medu, standing to me, won't you, Chida Walla Nama me blue, and the Yak on the fountain, see, I don't give a fool, ah, well, let me try, well, let me try, well, I wouldn't need a fake intelligia, what did Yako crab in him in Tolemoa, well, I will go to Mumu, and tell me, well, let me sir, well, let me sir. Ah, me ma me figure the na bantu ma bo fresh. What size new shoe in Tchekhe? And I bet your comparison me tempted the better because I'm bigger, uh, better than you. Turn it down, better than you. One bigger, yeah, better than you. Better me that chida you see kung fu. One bigger, uh, better than you, yeah. Turn it down, better than you. Rappers say we good reaction. Why you been pet? Munuku men be. I'm a in a few. I'm better. Better than you. Joe, turn it down. Better than you. One better. Better than you. Better me that chida you see kung fu. One better. Better than you. I'm better than Joe. I'm better than you. Rappers say we good reaction. Why you been pet? Munuku men be. I'm a in a few. Share. Flow in the kolebu. Usanda why you sick. Me rapper bubu hunde makaveli pick she rapper teaching the rapper band with that gula mo gua one rough when you the ame me a straight shot rapper say he been ame na mo go chill all the way go all the rappers so she no who fin rapper ne sako de se fa kani tin ring dada half go de monuku ma oh we fin fin me ye ni pose we ni na la guma se scotu she me sa me deliver no walla she ebo tu pe de speedy ti da me fe thank you brah bo hun cause me take the fake rappers na watu we gum madam for tell me rapper we ni watch it there I pay this beat why you ready me lebo okay. I'm not going to go to the LSA. I'm going to go strong. I'm going to go to the LSA. I'm bigger. Better than you. Turn it down. Better than you. I'm better. Better than you. Better than you. Better than you. Better than you. Mr. Patrick Johnson for this presentation of this title build. And now, ladies and gentlemen, by a technical knockout in the eighth round, the new ABU lightweight champion from Lagos, Nigeria. Put your hands together one more time for Otto Jose. And now, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next will be an eight-round flyweight contest between Mohamed Ayiting and Albert Komi. Shall we welcome the boxers into the ring?
And now, ladies and gentlemen, the last but one event of the evening before our eyes right here at the Bookham Boxing Arena. We go straight to the introduction of the two boxers in the ring. But before that, officials for this bout, Richard Amevi, Nat Obing, and Ishmael Williams. And now the man in the center of the ring will be David Mills. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner is the boxer who weighed in at 115 pounds with a record of six wins, eight losses, and five of the wins coming by way of knockout. Please just put your hands together as we welcome the boxer, Albert Kamehi! Across the ring, ladies and gentlemen, he fights out of the red corner with a record of six wins and no losses. And of course, four of the wins have come by way of knockout. He is a stable mate of the Seaview Boxing Gym here in Accra with a weight of 112.3 pounds. Please help me welcome Mohamed Aite. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I hand you over to referee for the bout, David Mills. I want a good and clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself. Good luck. Shake gloves. Deadly car fighter and. I believe Richard will be, um, I believe Kami will be using a switch a lot. He has to reach, he has to use a switch a lot because his switch advantage is very huge. Um, you see Aya coming inside, that was a very good punch to the body. Uh, he, Mohamed is enjoying himself. Wow, that's a very good uh, footwork from Mohamed. Very good job to the body. I like his movement. I like the way he's moving. I mean, that's the way you fight someone with a very good reach. He moves around, try to find a place to land um, his jab. And I mean, the early minutes of this fight has been good for um, the golden boy, IT. Very good punch. Oh, wow. That's a very good combination in the mid session. Very, very good combination. This is the first combination. I'm enjoying this guy so much. I believe this guy will be a world champion. But I expect Kombi to give a good fight. Oh, that's a very good combination. This boy is enjoying himself. The reach advantage is not uh, preventing him to do what he wants to do at all. And I like his footwork. He knows when to go in, when to step back. This is, the, I mean, I'm, en I'm really enjoying him. I mean, what do you see? Probably. Okay. I'm telling you, Negro, this guy is doing Mohammed. I think he's doing very well. Because if you can see the structure wise, He's just a dwarf to uh, Komi. But the way he's going about it and then uh, this uh, arming Komi from his ridge and thing like, things like that shows that, hey, this guy knows what to do at any given time. He's doing it very well. His footwork, his combination, the way he go, he go according to the angles and things like that show, tells you that uh, 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 Mohamed Aite knows what he's doing in the ring. I mean, it's always refreshing seeing Mohamed Aite fight. Uh, and I think Wimbe's promotion has done so well uh, with bringing him up. I mean, when you look at his, um, his dressing, you see videos of him. I mean, it's been good promotion from Wimbe's, and we must acknowledge Wimbe's for that. And now, uh, that's a very good shot. Very, very good shot. I like the way Mohamed, uh, Mohamed steps in, he takes the foot in and makes sure he throws fast combinations because you are fighting against a very tall boxer and you need to make your hands go fast. He's really enjoying himself. This one, one, there has been no troubles for Aite at all. Good punches. Good combination again. I like the way he chose the combination. This guy is having fun. And I like to see both young boxers having fun with the old men. It tells you it's a new generation. The new generation is taking over. It's a takeover. Go, good punch. I like the way Kwame came in. Kwame is also doing something nice. You see, this boy is now reminding me about uh, Manny Pacquiao. Whenever Manny Pacquiao is about to move in, he's moving with speed. That you, the one behind, you don't know what to do. And he land his punches correct and then give you a lot of disturbs. Exactly, exactly. More than exactly the way Pakao fights. Pakao stays in, he throws a lot of punches and moves away. And 
at a goal and Turn it down better than you, one bigger. Yeah, better than you. Pray the man that you they used to kung fu, one bigger. Uh. Better than you. Yeah. Turn it down better than you. Rappers say we good reaction. Why you been pet? Munuku men be. I'm a inner a few. I'm better. Bigger. Better than you. Bad, bad. I have to do something. They need to come in with a good uh, game plan because if they want to continue like this, it's just going to take punishment. It's just going to take punishment because I don't see any competition at all. He said, look at Ayite's head movement. Look at this movement. So good. So good. It comes in and you see both of the punches the last. Uh, you see fighting with a boss like this. Oh, that's a very good exchange. This guy is too good. Very good. Very good. Very good exchange. Ow, 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 ow. This is so good. Ayite, Ayite. Aite is a very good fighter. Aite is going to be a world champion. Look at the way he's enjoying himself. Look at the way he's enjoying himself. Look at his movement. Look at the punches. Kome is having a lot of problems. Kome can't throw anything. Kome with his reach is still taking a lot of punches to the head. He tells you this boy knows what he's doing. Because for a boxer shorter like Aite to be throwing all his shots into the head, I mean, this is just like, um, this is just like Pacao uh, Margarito. I tell you. This is just like the Pacao Margarito fight. Or what do you see? Exactly what it is. Just reminding me of Pacao standing with the TikTok boxes and then defeating them totally. Yes, 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 I can see it coming. Kome is on his knee. Just waiting for referee to end it. Because he's talking, taking a lot of punishment from this guy. And if he don't know, he continues this fight for the second round to end. He might, it might be a hospital... Uh, uh, problems for him. Exactly. I mean, you see, when they started the second round, I told you he needs to come in with something. If he wants to fight like this, it can match. And now in one minute and eight seconds of the second round of this initially scheduled eight-round flyweight contest, we declare the winner, Mohamed Ahiti!
Congratulations, Mohammed. Thank you so much. My name is Mohammed Golden Star. As you all know, I'm under win based promotion, a professional flyweight champion in Ghana. Um, I want to use this opportunity to thank my manager, Henry Evans Neo Dati. I want to thank him very much for this opportunity. And I also want to say a very big thanks to Boss Office Promotion CEO Alex Intermoa for giving me this platform. And also, I want to say a very big thanks to my opponent also for giving me a good show. And I want to say a very big thanks to my fans, my team, Golden Star, everyone that is supporting me, especially my coaches and my head coach from CBU Boxing Club. I want to say a very big thanks to you all, all my fans from outside and Ghana. I love you. I want to say a very big thanks to you all. Another big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Mohammed Aite. And now, ladies, gentlemen, good friends from far and near, it's time to wrap all of it up with an eight brown featherweight contest between John Laye and George Krampa, both of the Bronx Boxing Gym here in Accra. With another big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the two boxers, John Laye and George Krampa. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Natabing will be in charge of this final contest of the evening. And of course, we'll go straight to introducing to you the boxer fighting out of the blue corner. From the Bronx Boxing Gym run by Lawrence Carl Loco here in Accra. He weighed in at 128.9 pounds and comes in with a record of 14 wins, 5 losses, with 12 of the wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome... George 
Grampa! Across the ring, ladies and gentlemen. He comes in, also fighting from the same gym, the Bronx gym in Accra. Currently holds the WBO Africa Featherweight Championship. And of course, comes in with a record of nine wins, no loss, one draw, with seven of the wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for John Agbajar Gentlemen, I expect a clean fight. Obey my instructions and defend yourself at all times. Any questions? Sounds lost. Round one. So oh, there's a bloody right. So the younger guy, John Lai, should be very careful of how he go about things against the good old uh, George Krampa. Exactly like you said. Uh, I believe Krampa is a very experienced boxer. Uh, he likes two big, big shots. But um, over for some time now, uh, we've realized about uh, um, his footwork. Uh, uh, big, he's not been able to do well with big, big points. A point like that, he survived for it wasn't that good at all. But uh, I mean, we expect a very good fight from him, and I think Krampa is coming in. And Krampa is having a good time. Abaja comes in, good punch from Abaja. Abaja is having a good time. Abaja is having a good time. I think this fight can go anyway. Yeah, the both boxes are exchanging blows. Yeah, both boxers are exchanging blows, and then Agbaja is connecting well with his jabs, but Krampa also in behind coming with attack sometimes. Yes. Yeah, the jab is coming in from. Agbaja, and then Krampa is coming with, with the strike, and then he's doing well with how he's coming in with the Steve uh, 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 guard. Agbaja is finding it very difficult to pass through, to go through, but he's coming with some combinations. But I don't know. These combinations hardly work. Yes, exactly. I'm do that. Um, I don't know what Kampa is trying to achieve. Uh, I believe that. That's a very good shot from Abaja. Very good shot to the head to Abaja. Good combination from Abaja. Good comeback from Kampa. Good comeback from Kampa. Uh, looks like Kampa is getting tired. These two early rounds, I think Kampa should do well. It's a very respected. It's a very respected boxer. You can be. Um, you can be performing like this in the round in the first round. He needs to come back strong. He needs to come back. Strong. He needs to come back strong. Abaja is taking his time. He's trying to learn something great. And I think Krampa needs to be careful. But the way Abaja is doing a good combination from Abaja. Good combination from Abaja. I think we come back to the end of the first round. As we come to the, end of the first round, I think Abaja wants to learn something solid. That's the end of the first round. Abaja is taking the lead freely. And then. Even though George Krampa land some strong punches, but that does not shake the foundation of Agbaja. Agbaja is still in the fight. And then with a lot of jabs and then combinations, I believe strongly he took that round by surprise. Exactly, exactly. I think Abaja, Abaja had a good time in the first round. And I don't know if Krampa is going to show us something in the second round. Because... Um, I don't see Krampa coming to take a lot of punishments. It's, it's a big, it's a big boxer. It's, um, and Ghana, I would say, is 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 already out. Seconds out. So I expect him to give us a good fight. Seconds out. Round two. So we begin with round two. Round two. Abaja come in. Abaja wants to use a job. Abaja wants to learn something sweet. Okay, that's a very good punch. 
Very good punch. I like the way Abaja throws his jab. His jabs are too quick, fast. Very good job from Abaja. Very good job from Abaja. Very good job from Abaja. Another job, another job, another job. This is a jab war of Abaja. A jab punishment of Abaja. Abaja is just giving him a lot of jobs. I don't think Abaja wants to punish him. So he's just using the jab. He's just enjoying himself with the jab. The jab is doing well for Abaja. Abaja with another jab. Another good job, Abaja. Good job. Grandpa tries to come in. Abaja moves away. Abaja has a very good job. I see the way. You see the way he's enjoying the job. I feel he should use the right hand as well. You can't just be using a jab throughout. Exactly, that's a very good punch. Use a jab. Use, 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 a, use, a, use a right hand. Two more jabs. Good. Good. Grandpa is coming in strong. You know, Grandpa is a very stubborn fighter. And if you annoy him in the ring, he comes like a beast to destroy you. It's true. Grandpa is a thick, thick, thick skin boxer. On. Uh, Baja back percent. Baja speeds in Jab is working. But I believe it could have been so strong a beat to shake the defense of Krampa. Wow. That's a very good shot from Krampa. Krampa is working on the body now. A good work, good work, good work from Abaja. Good work from Abaja. That's a knockdown. That's a knockdown. That's a knockdown. I'll see, like I was saying, Abaja should be using the right hand from the beginning. End of this fight. I believe so. 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 Congratulations to Abaja. Exactly. That's a complete body work from Abaja. It was a good uh, domination by Abaja. Abaja wasn't using the right hand. As soon as he started using the right hand, he started giving Krampa problems. And you see Krampa lying down. We need the doctors to come and see and watch him. This has been a very good fight for Abaja. That is it. These are the things, some of these our doctors should be very mindful of. It's like they don't come into the ring. That punch. I don't know can have so much effect on you like that if you train well before you come into the ring. And these are the things sometimes they do and then they rather don't grill the younger ones. They open younger ones so open like that to the outside world when they finish like this and then they go out. It's like, no, the way we thought they are, they are not like that. I don't know what kind of point old judge to be on floor and cannot get up till now. It seems Grandpa did not train well for this fight before he came into the ring. That is the effect that I am seeing. Uh, exactly. I mean, with Ayoko Chavez's fight, I was telling you that um, if you stay out, I mean, you want to make a return. You need at least a six months uh, training. You need six months training because you just don't, don't jump into the ring. Boxing is, is, is a serious business. I mean, we don't play boxing. Most coaches will tell you. So if you are coming, you are making a return, a veteran, and you are making a return to the ring, you need to have at least six months uh, training before you can be able to uh, give a good, a, good, um, a good show. And I mean, we can see with Krampa. Krampa is having a very difficult time. See you, see you, see you, see you. Uh, this fight did not get to the state that we believe can get to. And then Krampa did not come in well. And then to make the fight a very nice fight. So he gave all to Agbaja on a silver platter, I may say. Exactly, Abaja had this fight easy. I believe he had this fight easy because um, if you look at the kind of uh, and now, ladies and gentlemen, from Krampa, this is not the Krampa we after know. two minutes so and twenty six seconds had, of the second very, round of this contest, contest today. we declare the winner, John Abaja.
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for being a part of this fight night. We'll bring you another feature later on. Congratulations to Agbaja in this fight. He won, then he take his all his win to I think it's ten fights. Uh, Congratulations, John. And then you eight knockouts. Yeah. One he he yeah. That is his record now. Uh, that's very good. And then we are looking out for some strong fights for him, for us to see how good he is. And he's Thank you. Thank you all very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we're grateful to all of you for being a part of this fight night. Well, this has been a box office promotions and Pro Bellum production, and we surely are going to come back with another exciting fight night. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for being a part of this one, and see you soon.